So, hi guys, it is Mystic, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install CC API, or known as Control Console API, for the PS3. Now, I'm going to show you how to get it set up on the uh, newest uh, 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 PS3 uh, jailbreak firmware 4.88, thanks to Evil Nap. Now, I want to clear something. This will only work for custom firmware consoles, not uh, consoles that run HIN. If you can only uh, run HIN, I, you cannot uh, use uh, CCAPI. So, as you can see, we have the compatibility list for uh, CATS and DETS systems. Uh, if you're on uh, DETS, you can, if you're on 4.84, which is the latest DETS system, you can go ahead and run it and spoof your firmware to 4.88 or whatever you want to do. Anyways, so there's two methods to do this. You can either do a FTP method or a USB method. I'm going to be doing a USB method. Now, let's get down. So, make sure you go ahead and download the Rev9 package, which should be the latest, latest package. Click on that, and it will download. I will provide the links below in the description of this video. Also, you can go to the mega link, which will have the PS3 multi-card OTM tool by Etzo. Love the dude. Um, very uh, good guy. Uh, but this will allow you to um, uh, mod and load multiple mod menus from all types of different co uh, Call of Duties. So we're also going to go ahead and download that. Once again, the link will be in the description of the video for this. So we're going to wait for that to download. Now, while we wait for that to download, let's go ahead and go. Uh, let's go ahead. And grab, uh, grab the Web9 package. I'm gonna move this to my desktop. Now I wanna wait for this to download. Now it may say it's dangerous. Don't worry, it's a false positive. Click Keep Dangerous File. Now go ahead and wait. Now it's gonna say these threats is found. Don't worry, this is a self positive. Um, so all you gotta do is go to uh, uh go to your antivirus. Um, I use Windows Security. Click see threat details. Click on this. Click yes. Click actions and click um. Oh wait, no. Go here. Uh, go ahead and allowed threats. Uh, wait, no. So basically, what we could do. Is we can we will find let's see here there is um uh, my, 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 my. go to settings um hold on I'm stalling here I'm trying to remember this I uh, got up uh, blah 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 here click this nope there's no threat so. Uh, yeah. Hold up. Uh, click real time projection off. Just turn this off for now. Um. Now, you should be able to go ahead and re-download this. Just uh, refresh the link and go ahead and download it again. Make sure you turn your antivirus off. Whenever using this, or you can go ahead and make sure. I just turn it off now and then uh, exclude it from search uh, searches and scans uh, later. Um, so, control J and click us. Uh, Keep danger file creep anyway. Now we can get to this. I'm gonna drive this back also. And now we have two packages. Okay, 
we have two packages. We have the CC API package web 9. First off, we're going to need a USB, so make sure you have a USB on standby. Go ahead and plug it into your computer, like I am doing now, and wait for it to show up on your, uh, wait for it to show up. So let me uh, plug it in here. Let's plug it in right there. Wait for it to show up. Okay, click here. I'm going to click uh, View Files. Um, now, in, I have just the update file for the 4.88 um, and some other stuff. Also, uh, by the way, right here, I want you, uh, here is a free account for the PS3 GTA 5. First person to get this, this also is the same password for the Outlook. For Microsoft, you change the PSN password right here. Okay, so to go ahead and put that in on the PS3, and you will have a fully modded GCA5 account. So, there you go. Anyways. So, what well, all we're going to do is we're going to right click and click a Shrek 2. Now we can delete that. Now I want to open the file. Go here. Go to uh, the PS3 side. And, and uh, go ahead and copy this to the root of your uh, USB. Now we're also going to go to PS3, right, uh, and open that. Now click next, uh, click next, uh, click next. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut, click next, and click install. Now click next, and we can launch it, but nothing's going to show up yet. We'll need that later. Now we can also delete that. So now we have the console API. Let's go ahead and install this on the thing. So, I'm going to carry over onto my GoPro to get this set up. See ya in just a second. Okay, so we're here. And first off, we have the uh, thing. I'm using a fat model for this uh, thing. So, what, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and plug in our USB that I have. Here, where is it? Let me, let me go ahead and find it. So we have our USB right here, and we're just gonna plug it into the console right here, just like so. Here's my setup, and always let's move back over here. So I'm using GoPro, so I don't know how best the audio is. Anyway, go to Package Manager, go down, click Install Package. Uh, go to standard and you'll see the uh, thing of the CC API. Click install. Um, I already have a version installed that is a, a, a early version that won't work. I'm going to click yes. Now I'm going to uh, say install complete. Wait, go down to uh, where your thing is uh, and click console API. Go inside that, wait a few seconds. And it's just gonna click, just click OK. And click install CC API. Okay, now click OK to reboot. And wait, You're gonna, your console will reboot just like so. So, Watch your wait. Now, I'm just going to click uh, sign in. And it'll say CC API. If that does say it, then you have successfully installed CC API. I. So, I'm going to shut this video off and I'm going to carry it back um, 
to the thing. Okay, so we are back at the computer. Now that we have the CC API installed on our console, what we can do is make sure you're connected to the same internet as your console. And uh, just for safety reason, I'm going to add a blocker because it's going to show my IP, IP address. And just for safety reasons, I don't want uh, that to be shown. So I'm just going to do some, I'm just going to show you some P Pikachu on the screen when I get this up. So I'll go to file, click add console, and go ahead and I'm just gonna do that. Go ahead and put in your PS3 name dash uh, your name, which you can find at uh, settings, system settings, system name, and then you can also go uh, out of system settings and go to network settings, and then go to settings and connect, and it'll show you your IP address, which you can also enter in. Which I'm going to actually switch my networks uh, again, which should allow me to automatically see it so you don't have to put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to file, add new console. I'm going to go, oh, uh, actually, we'll go ahead and restart that. Uh, um, 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 um. Make sure it's up. Now I'm gonna add console and then I'm gonna go to P. And then put this thing in. It should um pop up. Click OK, and then if we can right click on it and click Connect. Now that you're connected to it, click OK, and now you can see like all types of things. Click refresh, you can see the temperatures, the console, the system, the memory, the console ID, if you want to change the console ID. Anyways, now we don't need that anymore, and we can show, we can hide Pikachu. Now, we are going to um, do install what the heck? Anyways, uh, I don't know why Unreal Engine opened. <laughs> sorry. Now we can extract the uh, PS3 multi tool and go ahead and then open this. Go here. And now go ahead and open the PS3 Edsil, uh, the RTM tool. Now click uh, Dodge tool, click OK, and you once you have the uh, CC API loaded, all you have to do is I will switch over to what you have to do on the thing. So now that you have CC API fully connected, all you gotta do is go to PlayStation and just load up. Uh, not go to PlayStation, but go to your app for your app or and load up multi man. And all you gotta do in multi man is uh, load up one of your games, or if you don't have any games dumped from in multi man, you don't have to. But, anyways, I'm gonna load my one of my games, and one of the games I'm going to load personally is I'm going to load um, Modern Warfare. Too. Now, also, you would like to uh, check the compatibility list, which you can go over here, and you can see all the different games. Anyways, I want MW2, so I'm going to switch over and load the MW2. Now, we're going to wait a second. We are made to load it. Now, I want to do this online, so I'm going to do a few steps so I can spoof my console. 
I'm just gonna load up PSM patch real fast. And I'm going to um, load up that thing. And, okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and load up and sign into the PS Plus. Uh, the PSN. I have that one pretty much. So now that I'm signed in, I'm, I can go over, click Modern Warfare 2, and we're going to wait. For it to load up. And. Okay, now that you've done that, all you gotta do is, um, go to connect and click connect, click the console you wanna connect to, and you can do Statistics, non host, grabber, client, infection, hide, hide IP, and IP grabber, and many more with other consoles out with other games like BL1, BL2, MW3, Ghost, War at War, Advanced Warfare, BL3, uh, Dev, MWT, uh, MW, MW2, and Modern Warfare. So, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and hit that like button for more videos in the future like this. Bye.